Hi, it's Mike here at Music Villa. We're going to talk about uh, soloing over chord changes part two. If you watched last week, I introduced the idea of identifying the chord tones and playing those chord tones when the chord changed. We did the root, so we did G, and we did C, and we did D. And every time the chord changes I was playing, I targeted the root of the chord. So I did, just to recap, I'm going to target G, then I'm going to, when, the, when we go to the C chord, I'm going to target the root C, and then when I go to the D chord, I'm going to target the root D. So here we go. Just giving you the chords first. Now here we go for the soloing. saw that when I hit, went to the C chord, I played a C note. When I went to the D chord, I played a D note. That's targeting the roots. Now we want to talk about the other two chord tones that are in the triads, which are going to be the third and the fifth. So just exact same concept. We can now target the thirds. So if I played that same progression now, G chord, what's the third? The third's going to be B. G, B, D. So now I have to look at the B notes. There's a B note and uh, the open B string is a B note. Also, I have a B note here on the fourth fret of the G string. So those are my thirds. Then when I go to the C chord, what's the third of C? C, E, G. So here's C, E, there's my E. I have an open E and I have a high E, right? When I go to D, what's my third? F sharp, so there's an F sharp. There's an F sharp down here. There's an F sharp way up here. So those are my chord tones root, third, and fifth. So now when I'm playing, I can do the same thing and I can target the thirds. So here we go again. So now I have to look for a, a B note. There's my E note for the C. And there's my F sharp. Okay, so let me do it without talking, and you'll hear how it goes. Okay, so that was targeting thirds. You heard the B, you heard the E, and you heard the F sharp. Okay, now let's target the fifth. So on the fifth for G, what do we have? G, B, D. D is our fifth. C, E, G. G is our fifth. And then we have D, F sharp A, so A would be our fifth. So the exact same thing, now I'm just going to play the D when I hit the G chord. I'm going to hit the G when I go to the C chord. And the A when I hit the D chord. Okay, so that's targeting over the root, the third, and the fifth. So you might have a question that that uh, I'll, I'll circumvent because I know it's going to be asked is which ones sound best. The answer is really up to you as you're creating the melody, but I'll tell you that the roots are, are really strong because they're going to define that chord right from the get-go. But the third is actually super cool because it actually defines the chord as being major and or minor. And so we know these are major chords that I'm soloing over. So that third is really definitive because it doesn't exist in the other chords. And the fifth, now the fifth is going to be the weaker of the three, because the fifth actually can be uh, a common tone to a chord you're going to or coming from. For example, if I'm playing G, the G and the B are going to be super strong, right? The D note is going to be common from the D chord. So if I'm, if I'm targeting, if I'm on D, and I target a D when I go to G, it's the same note that from the chord I'm coming from. So it's not going to have as much definition as if I targeted the B. It's going to stand out. Same thing then on uh, C. If I target the fifth G, right? But let's say I'm going back to G. It doesn't have as much definition. So the fifth is great. You can play the fifth. It's there. Play it. But understand that the root and third are going to be your stronger of the three. Okay? So that's targeting the root, third, and fifth. So you're going to want to play your chord progressions just like I did, G, C, and D, and target just like we've been doing. And you're going to find out that as you do that, 
you're going to begin to hear the progression even though the chords aren't being played. And you're gonna be able to create some really cool solos. Let me just play a little bit and we'll take it out and uh, show you the idea of I'm gonna play randomly roots, thirds and fifths on the chord change. And then uh, you'll see how that sounds, okay? So I'm gonna play out, but I'm gonna uh, say my farewell. This is Mike from Music Villa and uh, I hope you watch uh, this video and the ones in before it, if you need any more information about what we're just doing, and I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.